नमस्ते जय हिंद एंड वेलकम टू दिस एडिशन ऑफ द राइट स्टैंड आई एम आनंद हरसिमन एंड वी बिगिन विद जस्ट न्यूज कमिंग थ्रू एंड दिस इज बिग लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन एंड दिस इज अबाउट बांग्लादेश आर सिक्योरिटी अफेयर्स एडिटर मनोज कुमार गुप्ता गेटिंग दिस पोर्शन ऑफ अ कॉन्वर्जेशन दैट मोहम्मद यूनिस हैड इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द फॉर्मर यू एस प्रेजिडेंट बिल क्लिंटन द इंटरम एडवाइजर टू बांग्लादेश इंटरम गवर्नमेंट द चीफ एडवाइजर ऑफ द बांग्लादेश इंटरम गवर्नमेंट मोहम्मद यूनिस एक्सेप्टिंग दैट देर वॉज अ क्लियर डिजाइन एंड कंस्पिरसी इन्वॉल्व in the systematic step by step ouster of Sheikh Hasina the nation's former prime minister Mohammad Yunus has actually accepted the conspiracy behind Sheikh Hasina's departure on the world stage he introduced the faces of conspiracy in the removal of Sheikh Hasina and during his speech Mohammad Yunus said and I quote no one could make out unquote who was behind the protest but also named Mahfuz Abdullah indicating that he played a role in Hasina's ouster from the country he stressed that this was meticulously designed and did not happen by chance mohammad yunus was speaking at the clinton global initiative event in the united states listen in he is known as to be the brain behind the whole revolution is amazing meticulously designed thing it's not just suddenly came it's not like that very well designed even the leadership pattern people don't know who the leader is so you can't catch one and say okay it's over it's not over you heard that now intel sources are telling cnn news 18 that this is a reaffirmation of strong ties between the us and the current bangladesh regime and it comes in the light of earlier reports here on cnn news 18 that suggested an quote and quote invisible hand playing a role in the removal of sheikh hasina now following deadly protests demanding reform to a jobs reservation system so it all started from there but like mohammed yunus said this was carefully orchestrated it was systematically done and top intelligence sources had told cnn news 18 that the event was quote official introduction at the world stage unquote for the nobel laureate Anand Ranganathan political commentator author and scientist with us at this point even if we before we go ahead and dive into a CNN news 18 investigation on the situation of illegals making their way into Bharat Anand Ranganathan what more does an affirmation need that the US deep state was directly involved in orchestrating a regime change and we had here at CNN news 18 said and Sheikh Hasina has spoken about it that she denied port access and also uh an air base access st martin to uh the us authorities uh good evening anand uh, you remember when many said that uh, uh mr yunus is in bed with islamists no he's not he's not in bed with islamists he is an islamist he has been a core member of this group all throughout the orchestration he is putting the onus on somebody else but i dare say he was part of the go- core group and it might be that he has led the entire thing this is what astonishes me that for him to openly declare it how much more brazen do you have to be he cannot have done this could not have done this without open backing of the united states let's be very honest about it but what of india and what of bangladesh in particular what of his blatant inaction not just inaction of his if you remember that execrable statement saying that uh, uh, the hindus are being attacked they are not for communal reasons so according to his logic temples are being attacked hindu vice chancellors and teachers are being forced to resign and attack not for communal reasons hindu houses have been burned hindus have been raped their property has been pillaged not for communal reasons this is the man who is the kingpin anand make no mistake about it and today he's blurted it out he's blurted out the truth well he has and it's a seriously worrying what is happening there because most of his claims and if it is he's acting on the behest of a hegemonistic power or behest of the us and that's why this regime change has been orchestrated then our likes of china and bharat watching saying what's happening in the neighborhood and how it's being orchestrated by certain entities who believe that if you don't do our line we will we will throw you out we will orchestrate a regime change 
Now, let's move on. Dr. Ranganathan, please stay on with us. There is the other issue at hand, ladies and gentlemen. On the right stand this evening, we begin with an exclusive investigation report that shows Bangladesh's exodus truth. Yes, there are people fleeing Bangladesh. CNN News 18 has tracked down those who have infiltrated or entered Bharat in in illegally. Bharat's borders with Bangladesh are extremely porous and that's not a secret. But since the turmoil in Bangladesh, the fear of immigrants entering illegally has grown to a large extent. Uttar Pradesh's IGAT has claimed how radical networks are likely to sneak in through these routes, disguised as uh, you know persecuted Hindus or minorities, establish themselves as bona fide citizens in Bharat and compromise national security. In fact, later on the show, we'll also show you proof of how fake documents are being created using fictitious data. But first up, here's Anvit Srivastava of News 18, who traveled to the border for a reality check. For the first time on national television, we are bringing you the biggest proof of this entire exodus from Bangladesh into Bharat. Have a look at this eye-opening investigation. আমরা অনেক গরিব মানুষ তাই আসছে কাজের জন্য আমাদের ওখানে কাজ নেই তাই এখানে কাজ করতে আসছি অনেক খারাপ কোনো কাজ টাস নেই সব ভেঙে ঠেঙে ফেলছে কাজ মাজ নাই সবার বাড়ি ঘর ভাঙছে বোম মারছে গুলি করছে মানে বলা মেরে পাস তো বিচা নেই ইন্ডিয়া জানো তাও মেরা বেটি আর বিবি দা রে तो बोले मैं तुमको भेज दूंगा पंद्रह हज़ार बांग्लादेशी टाका देना पड़ेगा अभी जिंदा रहने के लिए इधर जाएगा और बांग्लादेश में रहेगा तो पकड़ लेगा वो सभी लोग इसीलिए इंडिया चला रहे दीज टेस्टमनीज ने हर्ड बिफोर ऑन टेलीविजन एपिटमाइज द डेस्परेशन ऑफ बांग्लादेशीज टू क्रॉस ओवर इन टू इंडिया सिंस शेख हसीनाज एग्जिट ऑन ऑगस्ट फाइव The political turmoil in our neighbor country has raised fears of a mass exodus into India. Many rushed to the borders hoping for safety and a better livelihood. Yahan pe aap kaise aaye kisko aapne sampark kiya kaun aapko yahan par lekar aaya kitna paisa diya pura batayenge ek baar kaise hai. Dalal er madhyam aaye se. Hmm. Dalal ne aaye se nodi par kare. Shatra hai shatra aaye se. दाल नाम वो जो एजेंट था जो डाउट आपको लेकर आया जिसने दस हज़ार रुपये मांगे आपसे वो आपको कहाँ मिला था इमो 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 पे तो इमो पे कैसे संपर्क हुआ कैसे बातचीत हुई मोबाइल है कथा हुई सर मोबाइल से तो अभी तो जैसे अभी पकड़े गए तो अब क्या लग रहा है अब क्या होगा आगे जाने ना मैं जेल दिए दी मैं जाने ना जब आप बांग्लादेश से इंडिया आ रहे थे कहाँ से आपका सफ़र शुरू हुआ मैं इधर वो बेनापोल बॉर्डर में आया था उधर से मेरा बीबी और बेटी दोनों पासपोर्ट दे के वीसा ले इंडिया में आया उधर वो जो दो दुकान था ना उधर से मैंने बोला मेरे पास तो वीसा नहीं है मैं इंडिया जाना चाहता हूँ मेरा बेटी और बीबी जा रहे तो बोला मैं तुमको भेज दूँगा पंद्रह हज़ार बांग्लादेशी टाका देना पड़ेगा वो तो दुकानदार है फिर वो आपको लेकर आया लेके ऑटो में इधर लेके आया एक बजे फिर उधर बैठा रहा शाम तक फिर मेरे को बोला इधर से वो पार करके जाना है नोदी तो जिसको तैरना नहीं आता उसको कैसे लाया उसको थोड़ा पॉट पॉट है ना ऑयल का पॉट वो पॉट इधर बैठा के फिर लेके आया अच्छा हाँ तो कितने लोग आए थे चौदह पंद्रह होगा मैंने औरत तो दो दो ही देखा एक ही पकड़ गया और एक और एक था बच्चे भी थे नहीं बच्चे नहीं था तो अभी आप लोग जैसे पंद्रह लोग एक साथ आए हाँ तो अभी क्या बहुत सारा लोग आ रहे हैं बांग्लादेश से हाँ बहुत सारे लोग आ रहे हैं क्योंकि बांग्लादेश में बहुत सारा प्रॉब्लम चल रही है अभी अच्छा अभी उधर वो गवर्नमेंट उधर चेंज हो गया इसीलिए उधर जो हिंदू लोग हाँ उधर जो हिंदू लोग हैं ना वो लोगों को थोड़ा प्रॉब्लम हो रहा है और जो पॉलिटिशियन है जो जो पॉलिटिक्स कर रहे हैं उन लोगों को भी प्रॉब्लम हो रहा है इसीलिए सभी लोग अभी जिंदा रहने के लिए किधर जाएगा बांग्लादेश में रहेगा तो पकड़ लेगा वो सभी लोग 
इसीलिए इंडिया चला रहे हैं There seems to be a rise since August this year, but Bangladeshis illegally crossing into India is not a new phenomena. Ever wondered why many house helps, drivers, labourers often speak in a tongue that sounds more Bangladeshi than Bengali. Amra oni gori manush tai arsi kajet jono. Amader ekhane kaj nei tai ekhane kaj kupter arsi. To kaha jane ka tha apko India ki kya kam karna hai aur kaha jana hai? They claim to be from villages in Bengal, but the areas they identify with are all close to stretches vulnerable to human trafficking and infiltration along the Indo-Bangladesh border. Well, there's more, and do watch out for the whole story on news18.com and uh, on our YouTube platforms, where we've put out the complete investigation. Some very startling details. And most of them, you would have known when you ask these questions, that they speak in a tongue which is called Sileti, which sounds like Bangla but isn't Bangla spoken in Bharat. It's uh, it sounds somewhere a different uh, tone and tongue. And they also say we are from Malda, Murshidabad, or some of the border regions of Bangladesh. So it's very ambiguous the way they describe them when they are here in Bharat. Now, what's the route that's been taken by these infiltrators? We've tried to map that route. Like quickly, have a look here. Uh, on the screen right behind me, we just put this out. So this is what happens. They are from a uh, lot of the Rohingya come from the Rakhine state and they move into that area. You can see that porous area and uh, that borders Tripura, Manipur, Mizoram, that region. They are also there in Bangladesh and from Bangladesh, you see this huge border that Bharat has, largely riverine and porous. So they begin from Rakhine, they walk along the Naf River, enter Bangladesh to reach Cox Bazar with the help of brokers and agents. They move upwards close to the Bharatiya border towards Tripura, West Bengal and Sikkim. So that's the route that they actually take. This is how they go and they travel and then they and from once they are in Bharat, Assam, Tripura, Mizoram, Manipur or even in uh, ba ba Bengal, then after that, they get into any of these trains, use these touts, pay them away, work their way and then they spread across the rest of the country. And once they are into the hinterland, they go far away, all the way west, all the way down south, all the way east, uh, all the way west, north. They go across the country and then they spread and embed themselves. And it's just about one fake document. And after that, they get all the other fake documents made. Now, let's also take you to the other aspects cnn news 18's investigation bringing out this ugly truth of illegals entering bharat at a time that uh, jharkhand is headed for assembly polls in the next few months and the issue of alleged bangladeshi infiltration in its tribal belts has heated up prime minister narendra modi union minister home uh, amit shah union home minister amit shah have raised the issue of rampant infiltration causing demographic changes in the state of jharkhand now maintaining that the alleged infiltration poses a threat to jharkhand as it is changing the demography of its tribal regions especially the santhal pargana areas the uh, home minister accusing the heman soren led government of encouraging this appeasement for vote bank politics but heman soren in a way, taking a jibe at Bengal, saying that people are coming from Bengal. There is no change in the demography. Everyone is living in the Aman Chain, everyone is living in the Aman Chain. In the case of the Santhal Pargana, the Bangladeshi Guspeti, who is living in the Aman Chain, 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 who is living in the Aman Chain. One of the most important things, अपना अनुभव होगा राज के लिए उन्होंने किस संदर्भ में कहा है मैं तो नहीं जानता पर उन्होंने किसी को किसी से नाम लेके तो नहीं पुकारा संगठन को तो कुछ नहीं कहा उन्होंने कहा इस तरह कहावत जैसे कही जाती कि चूहे कुतर देते हैं या करते हैं द बीजेपी इज व्यू दैट इज द डेमोग्राफी ऑफ द स्टेट ऑफ वेस्ट बेंगाल हैज बीन डिस्टर्ब बाई टी एम सी टी एम सी एज ए पोलिटिकल पार्टी एज ए रूलिंग पार्टी दिस This is an acceptance, but along with the West Bengal, even in case of Jharkhand, the demographic changes are happening there. Let's go across to our guest, Charu Pragya, spokesperson of the BJP, national spokesperson, Anand Ranganathan, stays on with us. Arka Nag, political analyst, backs the Trinamool, A.S. Deol, spokesperson of the JMM with us. Namaste and Jai Hind to everybody. Thank you very, very much. A.S. Deol ji, the courts have made some very, very adverse comments. CNN News 18 has also been on ground in Jharkhand and where we've highlighted the fact that how there is this entire uh, reverse uh, story where Muslim men are getting married to tribal girls and hiding their identity as Muslims 
under this entire tribal category but overall encroaching on the land and also now various districts they are also getting influential in the panchayat the courts have come down heavily but why is mr soren in denial see uh, first of all uh, let me begin with the the picture on your screen the demographic changes so can you just tell me uh, is there uh, like if uh, the counting of a population it's supposed to be 100% and can you add the figures on the screen for me 36 87.9 and 8.9 how much is that mm. if you just can um, uh, humor me with that this is the 1951 census whatever it is whatever it is how much percentage it is no what is how much percentage i'm just saying so, it no it, overall out of is 100, the population is the population 100% or 150% of an area I want to ask you first. Huh. Second point. No, but these are different. Point. But these are Second different. Point. But this is not supposed to tribals total hundred. Yeah. Tribal, right? Tribals can be Hindus. Tribals can be Christians. Yeah, it's so just a total. Are, Mr. Yeah, Deol, what is? Mr. Deol, thirty-six. That's what I'm saying. Thirty-six percent. That's what I'm saying. What so when, saying? when in 1951 the tribals were counted as Hindus, but now it's no longer. They do not uh, go with Hindus. They do not go with uh, Muslims. They are Sarna. or they are sarna christian or they are christians they have their name in that uh, so that's why so when you calculate the percentage decrease this has to change you have to talk in absolute numbers and i'll give you the absolute numbers hmm. from 2001 to 2011 9.78 lakh hindus increased in santhal pargana 2.07 lakh muslims increased in santhal pargana 3.60 lakh tribals increased in santhal pargana Hmm. So where is the decrease? Where where are the uh, where no, is the point? But you are talking to data only there? between 2001 to 2011. What is happening between 2011 to 2024? And the ground surveys oh, and and, and the cases have been have, have been taken been? into cognizance over the last okay. decade and a half, sir. No, point, and it's the it's the it's the it's the point. courts who have let made me, this point. Let me complete. Let me yes. complete. Yes. Let me start. I'll go by the affidavit. You are so hung on the. Uh, Note, notes that the high court has taken and they come and come down heavily on the government yeah. i'll go with the affidavit the home government uh, the home department gave in the high court jharkhand high court will you agree with those data hmm. or do you refute that also hmm. no no I'll go ahead go, yeah point number 35 hmm. and first of all i have this uh, objection of calling it an infiltration in jharkhand infiltration is coming across the international border hmm. indian borders the state borders with the right of freedom of movement do not count into infiltration because the, if anyone can go and come in from one state to the other hmm. so if you want to talk about infiltration talk to we, bjp why our borders are not we safe we are talking about infiltration of bangladeshis into bharat and the presence of bharat. illegals so bharat, illegals jharkhand illegals in jharkhand sir illegals bharat in jharkhand is, bharat is not jharkhand so you start with the international borders do you, did you call you have you have to have the guts to call a spade a spade and tell that the bjp has failed at the international BJP. borders they could not stop the infiltration hmm. okay. you agree with, are you ready to call the bjp we, we are ready to failed? question we are ready to question yeah. anybody so, and okay, everybody very, thank you anybody you and first, everybody my you question you are the first anchor who is ready to question the no, bjp on obviously this. sir very, my sir let me Mr. Let me finish. Mr. De, Mr. Dev give me 2 uh, minutes 2 okay, minutes please finish two i minutes. just want to make one point uh, very clear sir my position or my allegiance is to my country Yes. if my country is be. because if it my country be. is be being no, that. if if Lord my Ali, if my that. country I, I is becoming a hot on you. Please, please i congratulate please just, you i'm just taking that. 10 seconds to complete and you please carry on i'm just saying yeah, yeah. if my country is becoming a hot bed for illegals who are coming here and embedding themselves it's a serious security concern not just at our international borders but also in our respective states because unless yeah, yeah. because at the state level the law and order is with the state so if every state starts flagging off and verifying the presence of illegals there will be a certain pressure that will be generated not Absolutely. taking away not taking away the real responsibility and the liability of the border security force and the central forces at the borders to control this infiltration that's what i want to say yes yeah, go ahead so let me okay. yeah so in their affidavit the point 35 says they feel there is a infiltration because the number of madrasas has gone up hmm. point 36 they are saying that the infiltration is happening since independence hmm. this is they are talking about the country as well. hmm. now point 37 hmm. dan patra there was an issue uh, last show i was there and they hmm. were saying that the tribals and muslims were fighting on dan patra hmm. the muslims are taking the land of uh, the yeah. tribals yeah. and in the end of that paragraph 
they are saying that we have now not found any linkages of this with any Bangladeshi infiltration. Hmm. So you should read what they have written. Hmm. Now, point thirty-eight A: hmm. the quantum of decrees of tribals may be due to the other reasons like outward migration, low birth rate, conversion, and this needs to be assessed, which they have not assessed. Hmm. Now, when no, who needs to assess this in Bajharkhand? This, this, sir, who, who has filed that affidavit? No, no, but who needs to actually who, who assess this and affidavit? present the numbers? Who, who, who needs to actually affidavit? assess this and present the numbers in Jharkhand? The government of who, the state, who has, right, sir? Who, who is in charge of census? Who is in charge of... No, but every state, has to, every state has the right to I'm monitor not, what I'm is happening denying, in their region, I'm sir. I'm not denying anything. I'm yeah. just saying... No, I'm, now, I'm just saying, the sir... The best part, the huh. best part, hmm. this... Affidavit which uh, the filed by the DCs of six DCs filed an affidavit in yeah. the High Court. Yeah, you know the best part. Hmm. The, uh, they went to each district. They took the BJP with them because the complaint was from the BJP. The BJP Jilla hmm. uh, district heads, district uh, presidents were taken along. They were asked, "Tell us which booths have Bangladeshi infiltrators." Number of booths were uh, searched. Number of uh, hmm. People were called and questioned and the, when they were submitting the reports, the BJP district presidents and ex-MLAs signed off on that report that we did not find any Bangladeshi infiltrator in this particular area. See, so so that, you should be, see, I'll, I'm okay. now my, thing, my, No, no, my, my point is once again. A.S. Dehalji, let's please, you, I, I, you cannot make it a monologue. There are others who need to speak. Yeah, yeah, sure, my, sure, my, sure. my humble request, sir, is there is a problem that we should all admit. We know that there are certain people who don't speak Bharatiya Bhasha, they don't speak Bharatiya Bengali, they speak Sileti and they have a different tone and a different dialect, yet they hold an Aadhaar card which looks genuine and which is Bharat's. They hold a PAN card or a ration card which, which and they claim to be from, from the border regions of Bharat. And now my point is, can a state not crack down on this and raise this and flag this and make it an issue? If more and more states start flagging this issue, there will be pressure on the center also to act on it. I agree with you that the border should not be porous. Charu Pragya, please respond. Have the, had the borders not been porous, then you would not have this entire issue of illegal migrants, illegals in our country. Absolutely. Anand, good evening. And the issue of illegal immigrants is one that we do not take lightly. Repeatedly, we have spoken about it. We flagged off the concern. We have made sure that the central government is doing everything possible to seal our borders. And I will tell you how. In October 2021, the center empowered the BSF to conduct searches, arrest suspects, make seizures, etc. up to 50 kilometers inside Indian territory. You know which state assembly? passed a resolution against the center's order, it was West Bengal. In fact, Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee at that point of time even wrote a letter to Prime Minister Modi saying this is only a means to torture common people. This is her stand. Let me also tell you that the MHA's Border Management Division fenced 3,180 kilometers of our border. But the 915 kilometers that remained was in West Bengal. Do you know why? Because Mamta Banerjee's government refused to give the land that was needed to secure our borders. And these are concerns which should be plaguing every single Indian. Every single Indian because I have a three page long list of illegal Bangladeshi immigrants, infiltrators rather, who have been arrested from every single corner practically of our country. Most of them involved in illegal rackets. Tamil Nadu, somebody is running a sex scam. In Gujarat, in Surat, somebody is arrested with fake documents made from a madarsa in West Bengal with a Hindu name which gives them an Aadhaar card and a voter are there, ID card. Are there anybody are so, in that three-page list? How many are there from Jharkhand? Many, many. And Jharkhand, I am I'm appalled at Mr. Deol completely negating the issues that exist in Jharkhand. See, please understand, when we go back to the 1970s and we talk about uh, 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 there is a 8% um, uh, you know, uh, presence of minorities, it has risen to 27%. And there were actually reports of uh, 
uh, uh, incidents coming forward where marriages were done to tribal girls to just get hold of their land to change their no, we've done their we've done, we've done that so report the we've done that investigation in the santhal pargana region and across three or four Absolutely. districts and, there were and, case and, studies and, where tribal girls had been married had married muslim men so whose identity was questionable and what happened is that the muslim men portrayed themselves as tribals there rather than what is normally uh, the the practice where across the place where the tribals are forced to convert or the person or the woman is forced to convert into the into islam if she is marrying a muslim man so the, this was a contrary scene that, that was seen and that's a cnn news 18 investigation also but yes. can but can my question to you is as they all is saying that when bjp went on ground they did not find any bangladeshis present there in these areas especially the santhal parganas now you do you have a list of bangladeshis who have been identified in jharkhand that's one question the second question is to arkanag arkanag west bengal mr hemant uh, soren also said ki bangal se andar aa rahe hain बिल्कुल एंड एंड नाउ द बीजेपी सेज इट इज द ओनली 915 किलोमीटर्स ऑफ बांग्लादेश वेयर लैंड इज नॉट बीइंग गिवन टू फेंस द बॉर्डर्स सो हु इज बैक आई टू ऐड क्विकली वन मोर थिंग ऑन यस बिफोर आर कनेक्ट यस प्लीज स्पोक्सपर्सन स्पीक्स सो बिकॉज़ द जेएमएम स्पोक्सपर्सन इज ब्लेटेंटली प्रिटेंडिंग नो नेगेटिव ऑर्डर वाज गिवन बाय द झारखंड हाई कोर्ट लेट मी रिमाइंड हिम दैट द हाई कोर्ट स्पेसिफिकली सेड टू आइडेंटिफाई दिस इंट्रूडर्स एंड सेंड देम बैक टू बांग्लादेश आई वुड लाइक टू नो व्हाट एक्शन हैज योर गवर्नमेंट टेकन एंड एज फॉर टीएमसी द सेम ममता दीदी टुडे हु इज बिकम एन एडवोकेट फॉर बांग्लादेशीज एंटरिंग इंडिया इलीगली हर पोल प्लैंक इन 2005 एंड एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम वाज दैट देयर आर इलीगल बांग्लादेशीज इन इंडिया इन फैक्ट Once upon a time, she even wrote a resignation letter to the then Lok Sabha Speaker, See, saying that I have failed my duty. Here is a, here is a, here is the issue that we me? have. The Jharkhand government believes there are no illegals. In in uh, that's what the Jharkhand government believes. The High Court is saying identify the illegals and send them back. Now who is going to identify the illegals is one more question. Ghanti kono bandega? That's a question that's happening. But Bengal. 915 kilometers land not given to fans the 50 kilometer route resolution passed that we will not ad adhere to this rule. Arkana, what do you have to say? well uh, firstly i would like to remind the viewers and the uh, people in the panel that the problem which bengal has been facing so far as the infiltration from bangladesh is concerned it dates back from 1970s onwards uh, when the situation worsened and now let me come back to you know october 2021 which the bjp spokesperson charu ji has uh, pointed out that the decision that the 15 km uh, diameter would be extended to a 50 km diameter which was uh, not accepted by the bengal government and i have two points to that effect first mm -hmm. if the 50 km diameter is accepted there are districts in west bengal like the dinajpur which will absolutely be under uh, the bsf control and there will be no state control per se mm -hmm. secondly i believe charu ji will uh, elaborate more so that when the amendment in october 2021 was passed not only 15 kilometers of west bengal's uh, diameter was extended to 50 kilometers hmm. but the gujarat diameter which was 80 kilometers was reduced to 50 kilometers hmm. so please try to understand the uh, amendment per se has uh, inner meanings in it the gujarat uh, the relief the gujarat uh, government was supposed to be given from hmm. 80 kilometers the diameter was brought down to 50 kilometers is not something which the bjp government is speaking the hmm. uh, harmony we have with the pakistan perhaps they believe that the bsf need not uh, go ahead and protect our borders with the uh, sides of pakistan you know, the classic classic important. shifting classic so shifting the, of the goal post you are more worried that dinajpur will come under bsf control rather than saying that there are, there needs to be serious concentration of stopping the illegals Anand, if the you no no if you no 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 where no, will no, the federal then, structure then go the federal structure has not vamoosed in federal structure has not vamoosed in punjab federal structure has not federal structure arkanag federal federal structure federal structure has not vamoosed in punjab they have punjab police are effectively working with the bsf the bsf would have worked with the bengal police to police this area but the bsf uh, range of sphere of operation should have been increased to 50 to no no it is bengal, a position it is a position it is a had mamta banerji uh, been the home that minister that of bharat uh, and had she taken a decision and had there been a trinamool congress government in bengal would you have opposed this or supported it 
माय सिंपल क्वेश्चन आरकाना माय सिंपल क्वेश्चन आरकाना माय सिंपल क्वेश्चन आरकाना माय सिंपल क्वेश्चन आरकाना इज हैड मिस ममता बैनर्जी हैड मिस ममता बंदोपाध्याय बीन द होम मिनिस्टर ऑफ भारत एंड हैड देयर बीन अ त्रिनमूल कांग्रेस इन बंगाल गवर्नमेंट इन बंगाल एंड हैड ममता बैनर्जी ऑर्डर्ड फॉर द फेंसिंग ऑफ द बॉर्डर्स अक्रॉस द 950 किलोमीटर्स 15 किलोमीटर्स ऑफ बंगाल एंड सेड दैट द 50 किलोमीटर रूल अप्लाइज इन बंगाल वुड द त्रिनमूल कांग्रेस हैव यस सेड यस और नो Or are you trying to say that had Mamata Banerjee been the Home Minister of Bharat, she would have never made such a question uh, say, say, statement? October twenty twenty one, there are enough uh, lands which are already with the BSF. The failure on the BSF to create now, an infrastructure. Now, before I bring in Dr. Anand Ranganathan, look at this. Look at this. Look at this, Arkana. This is what is happening brazenly in Bengal right now. A video that's gone viral on social media that shows candidates from Bihar. being mistreated in the state of west bengal union minister giriraj singh has said that while mamata banerjee is giving a red carpet for rohingya in bengal bihar students and bihar candidates children of bharat reaching bengal are being mistreated he also said a conspiracy is being hatched to convert bengal into bangladesh and this will not be tolerated the entire sequence these are students who refuse to reveal their identity they refuse to tell uh, the people asking them who they are and where they have come from ममता बनर्जी की सरकार जहां रोहिंग्या और बांग्लादेशी घुसपैठियों के लिए मुसलमानों के लिए रेड कार्पेट बिछा के रखती है वहां अपने ही देश के बच्चे बिहार के बच्चे अगर जा रहे हैं वहां एग्जाम देने के लिए उनके साथ गुंडाई कर रहे हैं मार रहे हैं पीट रहे हैं भगा रहे हैं देखिए अनफॉर्चुनेटली बंगाल का लड़का तो दूसरे स्टेट में वो तो मर्डर भी हो गया वो हरियाणा में हुआ है तो ऐसा कंप्लेन तो हमारा पास आप सब लोग देख सकते हैं लेकिन ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं है हम सबको वेलकम करते हैं ये डेमोक्रेटिक स्टेट है दो स्टूडेंट्स दी एलिगेशन इज नॉट देवर बंगाल का लड़का देवर रोहिंग्या देवर फ्रॉम बांग्लादेश और देवर फ्रॉम द रखीन स्टेट दैट्स दी एलिगेशन the allegation is not student fracas the allegation is these are outsiders who are now hitting and attacking our own students bhartiya students that's the it's not a bihar versus bengal scenario it's a rohingya versus bihar students scenario that's uh, that's playing out in bengal anand ranganathan can okay uh good evening anand and good evening to my fellow panelists i have been listening very patiently to this very important discussion and each panelist has brought out very important points just bear with me for two or three minutes because i want to lay out the topography of what the discussion is about in two or three very brief points number 1 i think it is outrageous that fleeing persecuted hindus from bangladesh have to spend all their life savings and escape death by the skin of their teeth and come to india it is absolutely outrageous it is unacceptable we should have the indian government should have set up and i have said this for months hmm. detention camps and relief camps so that they could cross the border legally and till their documentation was checked thoroughly they would be in those relief camps hmm. do we have to wait like we did to airlift the last sikh and the last hindu and the last christian from afghanistan when taliban took over are we going to wait for that this is to correct a historical injustice every hindu or every indic person who wants to come to india from bangladesh must be welcome of course one must check all the documents uh, uh, but hmm. the fact of the matter is that we still haven't set up we haven't welcome persecuted hindus and sikhs and christians from bangladesh is a calamity and this government needs to be severely castigated for it for them to for seeing your uh, congratulations hmm. first of all on that report very important report but it is heartbreaking to see poor hindus with nothing with them having to escape in the middle of the night through forest through rivers standing in chest high waters of tista and then somehow making it to india it is unacceptable number 2 i do um, uh, praise mr as diol for bringing out the data it's very refreshing but i want to talk for the next minute only concerning data it is a fact yes as mr diol says that uh, it's is just simply unacceptable again that the last census 
data talks about population was almost 14 15 years ago in a civilized country that is unacceptable yes. but the fact of the matter is the truth is illegal immigration is happening in india it is rife the pil was actually filed in the jharkhand high court mr diol as you would know by a christian he was worried about the demographic shift and it was the high court the bench that castigated the deputy commissioner of the paraganas for lying blatantly that there has been no illegal immigration these are the two facts number 3 it is also a fact as you rightly say that the illegal immigration uh, immigrants have come from bengal so yes it is not crossing the border as you put it uh, international borders but is it not a fact that it was in 2005 the upa when worried about the demographic imbalance and the illegal immigration that then home minister chidambaram said very soon if this goes on we will have a bangladeshi chief minister in assam was it not ms mamata banerjee who tore the uh, sheets of paper and threw it at the speaker saying that yes. this is all because of bangladeshi Luxembourg. immigration was it not shashi tharoor who wrote in his book pax indica that 20 20 million illegal bangladeshis have entered and he alluded to them being termites all of them wanted nrc just when bjp comes into power all of them say quiet and for their vote ca- to placate the vote bank they say no illegal immigration has taken place illegal immigration is a reality that is a fact we have to accept no how are illegals vote bank that's that's my question okay you may say that i want to i want to cater to a vote well waiter to a ba- you know vote bank which is bhartiya but how are illegals vote bank and how are you working in the interest of the country if you are going to say that i'm going to resettle illegals in my country allow them to get papers and then convert them into my vote bank because maine tumhara paper banwa ke diya ab mujhe vote do what, what kind of politics is this that is how the function no, th- happens this is this is the biggest disservice to mahabharti that anybody can do any person who is a patriot who believes that can they I believe that they can see leaders to you please hmm. if i may yeah So there is a TMC leader by the name of Ratna Biswas who in November 23 says Lok Sabha elections are about to happen and those who come from Bangladesh we should help them to get their names onto the Indian voting list those who have any trouble can go and contact Zakir Da this is Zakir Hussain whose constituency is close to the border TMC leader said this another TMC MLA Kokan Das he says that only the Bangladeshis who are supporters of TMC will find their names on the Indian voting list otherwise if they are BJP supporters or Hindu their names should not find their way on the voting list of india please explain to me how these very prominent tmc leaders mlas in fact hmm. are making statements hmm. like that openly isn't your government running a racket so to say which allows lakhs of people to come into india get fake paperwork travel across the length and breadth of the country no and uh, earlier it was the left that was accused of running this racket and saying that every exactly. time they came back to power <laughs> was issuing a million Bangladesh. ration cards and and, and getting those votes election. and banking on those votes so no, but but here's one more thing here's what's happened not just in bengal there's something that happened in jaipur also ma'am in rajasthan's hawa mahal the mla bal mukunda acharya stormed into an e mitra center in jaipur where documents like pan aadhar and passport were being made what compelled him to storm into these centers he alleged that these centers were forging government documents in the name of bangladeshi illegals and he's caught a huge handful and some of these people in these centers e mitra centers have been arrested so now inke documents jo kagaz nahi banwayenge kehte the shine bag ke taur mein charu pragya inke kagaz bana kon raha hai it's being done in the e mitra centers only right this is happening in jaipur and an mla has to go and do this has to go and bust this place so who's going to call who the this one here the villain here every neta seems to be involved in this there seems to be rampant corruption even in government government run emitra centers look at this it has to be called out in action the strictest possible action has to be taken and and see the thing is i'm not going to mince my words but i say all the infiltrators and those who help them need to be weeded out it doesn't matter who they are associated with government other or otherwise hmm. and and i can say this but can the same thing be said by the jmm or the tmc spokespersons please mr dev see absolutely i agree on uh, with charu on this that any a single person who is in our country without proper papers is a nuisance and has to be booted out of the country but 
the problem i only think the uh, i want to share with you is jharkhand and west bengal is not whole of india no that i agree, agree with that. that that i agree but devsab this is what i am trying to say beyond I'm, politics i'm saying dekhe i am i am telling you Ji. a single person found has to be booted Correct. out now here here is my i have to wind up the debate but here is my humble urge in trying to settle politics and to say this is how i'll come to power let's not compromise the larger interests of our country and its own citizens because these illegals nearly more than 4 crore the range the estimate number is nearly 4 to 8 crore illegals in our country that's not a small number sir 4 to 8 crore is a huge number the point is they are eating into the livelihoods of our own people they are encroaching on lands that belong to our own people and our own governments they are resettling and they are embedding themselves into our own country without embracing its culture and way of life they will create a law and order situation and most of them enter into nefarious means the point is the safety of our own children our own homes our own people is at the hands or at the mercy of illegals in our country tomorrow if these illegals via these illegal papers get into positions of power as sarpanches as as uh, as members of gram panchayat as part of councils and councillors even becoming mlas after spending nearly two decades in bharat what is their policy going to be they are only going to embed more such illegals we have a serious concern for our country then one say uh, uh, absolute anand i am with everyone on this i am on board that no foreign national should be here without proper papers but what i want to say is we can solve this with critical thinking not emotional thinking correct i'll just quote uh, i'll just quote a sentence from thomas sowell he was a political uh, political critic hmm. he said the problem isn't what that johnny can't read the problem isn't even that johnny can't think the problem is that johnny doesn't know what thinking is he confuses it with feeling so we have to actually sit across the board do not point fingers at each other why is that only jharkhand because there no. is election in jharkhand you have picked up nahi, jharkhand but, but, and you're not uh, discussing sir, assam sir, sir, you're not discussing assam sir, there you're was no election i'll be very honest sir and charu I, has I, a list no, charu has a list of minute. all over the india but none please. of the states were named See, i can only so say one thing sir we, no, we no, did I, this one minute sir we did this story We There's did this story. Oh, no, no, I we did this. Gujarat. I said Gujarat. I said Tamil Nadu. Does Tamil Nadu have elections? There, see, these are cases where we have to rise above our polity. I believe that if the states and unions, if I the states you. and union territories uh, across our country start cracking down unilaterally, irrespective Unilater. of who's in power, on yeah, yeah. illegals present there and insist on verification, these illegals will have to scoot. Yeah, they Charity will have to go. They will have to. Charity go. also begins from they home. No, sir, sir. यहाँ देखे ना नहीं नहीं एनसीआर में करना चाहिए सर मैं तो कह रहा हूँ जब का, कावड़ यात्रा में नोटिफिकेशन निकाला तो लोग गायब होने लगे पर सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने उसको ही टर्न डाउन कर दिया बोला अरे शिनाख्त वेरिफिकेशन कैसे मांग रहे हो वेरिफिकेशन सर कोर्ट को भी समझना चाहिए ना कोर्ट को भी समझना चाहिए इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द कंट्री शुड कम फर्स्ट एंड फॉर दैट वेरिफिकेशन शुड बी मेड mandatory identification and should be made mandatory and especially if there is corruption happening at the e mitra center these people should be criminally punished i have to wind up i have to wind up we are running over time we're going over we got another debate going on anand ranganathan ji will uh, you'll have to reserve your comment for the next time we speak on this issue taking a very short break when we come back the tirumala prasadam issue continues and more importantly the politics speaks as jagan reddy plans to visit the temple on the 28th of september but the temple law says he must divulge his faith before he seeks blessings will mr jagan reddy declare his faith as in his election affidavit at the feet of lord venkateshwara when we come back.